Now, um, so we talked about factoring out GCFs. When you guys obtain an equation and you have to factor out a GCF, that's the first thing you're going to do, Mario, is factor out a GCF. Um, but now, if we look at this next problem, we have uh, x to the fourth plus 8x squared minus 9. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have an x to factor out because there's no x with the 9, right? So we can't factor it out. Now, we can go ahead and use the dime method. And but basically, what I like to do is, um, and I wrote something down, when you guys have something like this where you can't factor it out, let's forget about the powers for a second, and let's just factor out what we know how to factor. We know how to factor a trinomial when it's a quadratic. Would everybody agree with me? We understand factoring quadratics when it is in this format. OK? Mm -hmm. So now, I, I'm just writing this down. This is the same numbers, but with x squared. You agree with me? Now, when we go ahead and factor this, I have x plus 9 times x minus 1. Huh? I'm trying to explain, but I have some other people that are not paying attention, so it kind of gets a little difficult. Yes? I'm going to explain how to do this problem, but if that's something that's an emergency, then you can take care of it. So we have x squared plus 8x. Oh, I'm 8x. We're not x squared. Sorry. 8x minus 9. All right? Do you, guys under, do you guys agree with me, though, that these two problems, here, let's do it this way, x squared plus 8x minus 9. So when we factor this, I get x plus 9 times x minus 1. Do you guys agree that these problems are very similar to each other? They're very similar to each other. This one is like the algebra 1 quadratic. This one is raised to a power 4, right? Now, but what I want you guys to understand is when we apply FOIL, you multiply the first two terms, you get x squared. When you multiply the last two terms, you get negative 9, right? The middle terms are what combine to give us 8x. So what I want you guys to understand is the factors, the first two terms of the factor give us x squared. The last two terms of our factors give us negative 9. So in this example, I can't use x and x because x times x gives us x squared. x times x does not give us x to the fourth. However, if I change the power of x, I can get x to the fourth. So what should I use that to multiply x squared? Then, what term should I use? I can use the same terms for negative 9. So, or to give positive 9 or negative 9. So I can use x squared plus 9 or x squared plus 9 and x squared minus 1. Now, let's verify. Does this work? Does x squared times x squared give you x to the fourth? Does, well, let's just actually, let's, fo let's foil it. So I get x to the fourth um, minus, or let's do x to the fourth. I get plus 9x squared. When I do 9 times x squared, I get 9x squared. When I do x squared times negative 1, I get negative x squared. And then 9 times negative 1, I get negative 9. I combine my middle terms, I get x to the fourth plus 8x squared minus 9. So guess what? When you factor, when you multiply your two factors, what happens is you guys get the same answer. Okay? So the critical thing that I want you guys to write down is 